welcome to another episode of IHNA and IHM Career Australia. I'm Vinesh Palan. We've been trying to decode and understand what what's happening around the world and how we can uh, best approach it and how as job seekers or, or, or on your career, what's the best things you can do right now. Uh, in the past, we have recorded episodes, me and Sulal uh, co-hosting events and, uh, you know, you know, uh, interviewing various experts. Today we have uh, Sulal right away from uh, Darwin. Thanks for joining uh, with us today, uh, Sulal. Thanks, Vinesh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So uh, we've been going through crazy transformations in the past month or so. Uh, you know, work from home has become the new norm. What's what's been happening with you, Sulal? How's things there? Yep. Uh, you know, every industry, every uh, part of the world is, uh, you know, impacted or affected by this COVID-19. So we are not different. We, and particularly working in the HR part, uh, you know, I actually had to manage more of, you know, how we change some of our policies for working from home. Uh, and, you know, being in the health service industry, it's more of a frontline service. So we can't have all staff working from home. So we actually had to manage how our frontline staff will work and how we redeploy some staff to other jobs because uh, you know if there is an issue with high risk uh, staff for example people who are 50 plus or people with chronic illness yeah. because those are considered as high risk and they can catch covid 19 mm -hmm. faster and you know there's a high chances of they don't survive under these circumstances so we actually have to make had to make plans for redeployment and how we train some of our staff uh, we have got continuity of service so it's been uh, really uh, challenging and we always had to make this decision in a very short span of time. Yeah. And then we actually had to revise it because by the time you make a decision in the morning and in the <laughs> evening, things are totally different. Yeah. Uh, so it actually helped us to understand how flexible we have to make plans and then adapt to the new this new norm and then, you know, change our plans with the with the changes happened, you know, in the next day or so. I'm sure this has been a huge learning curve for you and your your team. And and the surprise thing is no one trains you for this, do they? Yeah, it is it is absolutely, you know, a, a, a different environment. I think what really makes the, the most is uh, how you collaboratively work as a team. Because, you know, we don't, no one has got a perfect answer to deal with such situation. But when you have a combined team effort, you know, uh, working collaboratively, you are getting a number of people thinking together on a solution of what are the different solutions and then come up with, you know, a, a reasonably good number of steps to address such issues. So I think this has uh, really demanded teamwork or collaboration than any other time. Yeah, so coming to teamwork, again, there's a big difference there, how you collaborate with each other, how you have conversations, how you have meetings. And it's a different yep. experience. It's no longer the same when you see uh, the other person in the screen. So what what mm. what things have you been doing there and how have you been experimenting around this? So we uh, actually have to make a number of plans, you know, when we uh, introduced um, things like work from home and redeployment. For example, for work from home in Australia, it's quite, uh, you know, um, complicated or high, high level of compliance is required when you actually approve someone to work from home. So those compliances have not been, you know, uh, reduced or something uh, with this COVID-19. It still stands the same. So you need to have a self-assessment uh, to ensure that the person and a staff member or an individual working from home has actually got a reasonable work health and safety conditions met at home. And, you know, and it's particularly for the aspect of if there's any issue with, you know, any incident happened at home, uh, you know, the person is protected under the workers. Uh, comment session. Uh, so we actually had to, you know, look at how do we ensure that uh, any any of a staff member working from home meet those uh, conditions, and then we actually approve those work uh, work from home applications. And then comes the challenge of uh, how the managers manage the team who are yeah. working from home. Uh, you know, you need to ensure that yes, there may be. Uh, 
challenges with productivity and again this is with you know industry to industry it varies you know mm -hmm. for example uh, for it it may be easy because it's a project to project basis but uh, many other industries like health service it's not a very common practice you know and so we've also implemented telehealth for our general practitioners so that they can actually engage with clients uh, from uh, working from home now you actually have to train all your staff to <laughs> to how you use telehealth you know so yeah. this is like going hand in hand one way you are implementing the new technology to ensure that you have continuity of care to your clients and on the other side you actually have to train your staff to ensure that they actually got the technical capability to actually deal with the new technologies yeah so and you you got yeah you got no time yeah so lots happening and short period of time and there is no yeah. running away from this so interesting insights right. thanks for sharing that Sulal. so yeah it's important that we um, especially for you for me i'm an individual contributor i do what my manager says they check in with me every yep. now and then to see if i'm doing great and um, that's what that's what i do uh, but yep. uh, when it comes to work from home there are so many other aspects to it you know one thing is the physical exercises part you know the movements that you do when you go to office mm. um, uh, it's different you at least uh, walk to the station you walk from uh, to the office you take a break during lunch but work from home can get so tricky that you just sit in front of a computer and kind of do nothing yep. nothing else so yep. uh, what what kind of things uh, have you have you personally been trying and uh, how have you been uh, you know keeping up with all your team members as well on this yep. uh, fatigue is a big issue with this you know because uh, you are in an environment where we're not going out so you completely missing on the physical exercises and i went to like kmart big w and i found that there are no yoga mats or any health uh, exercise equipments available no, no not available primarily because people have bought it all yeah. you know which is good so people have you know many people have taken that responsibility of doing it from home and i think uh, there's a high influx of uh, online training sessions happening you know yeah. well-being sessions then and there so many organizations are doing a lot of uh, either yoga or you know some other uh, you know workouts giving some uh, personal trainers using some personal trainers mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, and uh, make use of their time to get some exercise at home and even i have seen some uh, gyms they've actually started renting out the equipments because gyms are closed oh that's interesting <laughs> so yeah so you can actually rent out some stuff from the for a month and or, or whatever time they are renting it out and then you can use it and then return it and things change that's, so that's I've also had in, both both in both the parties involved. <laughs> yeah, because I think you know what we are seeing is many many of the um, you know uh, entrepreneurs are trying to redefine the business because many have to had closed their business because of the social distancing and other factors. And even I have seen some of the restaurants were or cafes where you actually go to buy coffee. They actually turned the cafes into grocery small grocery stores nice <laughs> so so you know people some people yes it's hard for them but some people are actually trying to see how they make use of the opportunity and you know how they can strive this environment i think it's a gold mine for entrepreneurs right now people who have good ideas innovative ideas they can uh, they can they can make or they can have a huge impact uh, on the society right now i was mm. i just came across this uh, idea um, um, i just i just saw this yesterday it was a meetup platform where you can actually arrange the chairs tables have a panelist on the platform and have a whole conversation i think uh, the people around the table can have a uh, isolated conversation among them itself so it's it's a very interesting to see how these uh, innovative ideas go through um, another yep. very important aspect of this is mental health. You know, uh, what, what typically happens to everyone now is we wake up uh, in the morning and we turn on the news and that's it. I mean, our day gets kind of ruined uh, because of that, because of the news that we hear. And then we also don't do much to make us make ourselves happy because it's the same routine you're sitting in front of a computer you're seeing the same set of people uh, and probably you're binging a lot on uh, tv as well which is not actually triggering uh, your productive mm. side of your brain so uh, wh yep. what about that uh, sulal how's things going there 
Yep, I think uh, you know communication is the key under such an um, you know circumstance. So what we have done, we have done a number of things as soon as you know we realize that these things are going to happen and it's really going to change every day. We established a communications team uh, to ensure that we have got communication to our staff and also to our clients all almost on a daily basis. And we used you know different. Um, you know, platforms, for example, for communicating to clients used um, our social media, you know, newsletters and for staff, you know, everyday circular meeting with leadership team, you know, the feedback, a summary of the meeting, sending to all staff using the intranet, you know, uh, using the managers to have those communication on a daily basis because there's a lot of anxiety around. Yeah. And as you said, uh, you know, they're, they're getting a lot of information. It's it's like an information explosion yeah. and people are really confused about what is true and what is, you know, not true. So I think people really look forward to your employers to actually hear what what is that communication coming from the employer. So I think it is very relevant for any employer to do a, you know, good amount of communication at this stage, which actually helps for better mental health. That's a and, that's a really good point, uh, Salan. Yeah, and again, you know, irrespective of whatever you do, still people are going to be anxious about it because yeah. you know this is this is a never experienced situation before. So you know, it's a it's a reasonable thing for people to be anxious about it or worried about it. So we established ourselves, you know, we, like as a health service, we have a social and emotional well-being team in house. So we made sure that we actually geared up that team to have, uh, you know, uh, provide the service to our own staff. And that's primarily with the intention of when you, we do have an employee assistance program, but under these circumstances, those services are very busy. You know, you have to actually have a long waiting time to access those service. Yeah. So we thought it is actually will be a good opportunity for our staff if they wanted to have a confidential discussion. You know, we can use our own psychologists and counselors to um, you know, or have a chat and see, you know, what help they can do to overcome those, um, you know, stress. So, uh, so that was a good um, option we tried. And I think there are, uh, particularly in Australia, you know, there are beyond two, uh, there are so many mental health hotlines for people mm -hmm. can access. I do agree, maybe we see these times because of the number of people uh, calling those lines, but you know, uh, more or less, it is equally important that if you have such issues or, you know, if you feel stressed and you don't have, uh, act, you are not able to get access to service, at least to talk to your friends or colleagues or managers, that at least you have someone to talk to. That, that's really good to hear that your organization is taking such initiatives and, you know, giving people a platform where they can, uh, you know, can uh, pick up the phone and talk to uh, experts in this area. And I absolutely agree about the information explosion that you mentioned as well. Even even if you're trying to develop some skills or even if you're trying to consume some uh, information, for example, in LinkedIn, which I'm uh, uh, very much active on, I see so many people sharing so much free content, so many videos, so many courses, and, and it's it's hard to focus on what we need or hard to focus on what's what's the best among these sources right so it's it's really difficult and people have been approaching me you know how to control this how, to, how so it's very important that you uh, have a reliable source like you mentioned you are, for uh, for most people employer is a reliable source and yep. it's very important that you follow someone religiously rather than uh, opening up to see, hey, I, I need to get the best one, you know, go, go find the best yep. one. So when you watch one, you see, hey, this is not the best one, this is the best one. And then it, yep. it kind of uh, yeah. uh, defeats yeah. the purpose completely. Yeah. And uh, and I wanted to add, you know, even if, uh, sometimes we think it is over communication, but it doesn't matter when it comes from an employer, it actually holds a lot of value because even research suggests that, you know, employees actually look to an employer as a trusted advisor or trusted, you know, Place for information. So even you shouldn't worry about our communication. You still should do all different platform of communication just to ensure that people are actually communicated quite well about what's happening. All right. So uh, thank you so much, Sulal, for joining us um, in this venture on where we try to decode what's happening in the market and how we can overcome or what's the best. No, I, I'm sure that no one has an answer of how we can defeat this, but we are just trying to see how we can make the best uh, out of the situation we are in. Thanks for joining us, Sulal. Thank you, Vinesh. Have yeah. Stay safe, stay, stay home. 
<laughs> yeah. So, uh, as always, if you want uh, to be a part of this or if you have any questions or queries for us, please reach to, reach out to us at careeraustralia at m4tv.com.au. Um, we'll have more experts in the coming episodes. And until next time, thanks and bye bye.